One of the things that we do quite often with jQuery is we show and hide elements. We do this using the show and hide methods. The hide method will set an inline style on an element to have a display of none. The show method will change the display property on the element to be whatever they initially were. This would typically be something like block or inline block. Let's look at how we can incorporate this into our pages. Here's the file I've prepared for us to work with. As you can see, I have several paragraphs. They all have unique classes assigned to them. In addition, I have two anchor elements. One has a class of show and one has a class of hide. And here's what my page looks like in the browser. We'll use our document ready function to add some interactivity to these elements. I'll start off by targeting my hide link. When the hide link is clicked, we're going to run a function. What we want to have happen is we're going to want to select the basic paragraph and we're going to simply tell it to hide. When I save my page and we refresh in the browser, when I click hide, you'll see that the first paragraph disappears. If we want the element to show up, all we have to do is program our show link. I'm just going to copy the code that we have right here. We'll paste this in and we'll change the selector to the show link. We're going to still have this be invoked by a click and then in our function, we'll tell basic to show. In this way, when I click hide, the first paragraph disappears. When I click show, it reappears again. It is optional to specify a duration or a speed parameter to make jQuery show or hide the effect over a specified period of time. Let's go ahead and let's add in another one of our paragraphs to the hide button. We'll target the fast paragraph. We're going to tell it to hide, but instead of just leaving the parentheses empty, we're going to pass in a keyword of fast. We'll do the same thing down here in our show function. I'm going to once again target the fast paragraph. We're going to have it show, and this time let's have it show slowly. If we save and we refresh, you can see when I click hide, the first two paragraphs disappear. When I click show, the first paragraph appears right away and the second one takes a little bit of time. Now hide, if you look, they're almost disappearing at the same rate. It's only when we have the show that this one slows down. In addition to using these keywords, we can actually pass in a specific amount of time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my slow paragraph. We're going to tell it to hide, but instead of using a keyword of fast, we're going to tell it to hide over a duration of 1500. This is equivalent to one and a half seconds. Then we'll do the same thing down here. We'll target our slow paragraph and we're going to tell it to show and we'll have it show very quickly. So I'll just specify a hundred, which is like a hundredth of a second or a hundred milliseconds. If we save now and we refresh, when we click hide, Notice the rate at which the last paragraph is hidden. It takes a lot longer than the other two. When we click show, you can see that the paragraphs come in at different rates of speed. When we use the keyword of fast, it's taking approximately a duration of 200 milliseconds and slow, when we use the keyword of slow, it's taking approximately about 600 milliseconds. You can obviously fine tune this by plugging in the actual time that you're interested in having the effect take. Let's make one more link down here, and this will be a link that is going to be a toggle button. So I'm gonna give this a class of toggle, and we'll just display the word of toggle as well. So here is my third button. Let's go ahead and let's program this one. I'm going to create a new selector for the toggle button. We'll also have this invoked by the click event. Let's select the basic paragraph and instead of using show or hide, I'm going to pass in the effect of toggle. 
and we'll just let toggle take whatever rate it normally does. I'm going to save now and if we refresh the page when I click toggle you can see that the first paragraph disappears. If I click toggle again it appears. Now if the paragraph is already hidden so if I go ahead and hide it now when I click toggle the paragraph comes back. The toggle method will show or hide the elements based on its initial display. It will basically do the opposite. So if the item is showing, when we click toggle, it disappears. If the item is not visible, when we click this, it will reappear. As you can see, being able to show and hide elements when the user interacts with the page can be very helpful when building interactivity.